guys, so I'm finally jumping in here. If you watched that whole time lapse, then you saw me kind of building this thing, kind of-ish. This was a little bit of a struggle. This whole situation was a struggle. Before we found this bookcase that we now have, I originally picked up two white bookcases from Ikea that were similar to this. However, it was four little things and then a second four little squares. Like they weren't attached, how this one is all eight, all attached. And I kid you not, those were the most difficult thing to build ever. I don't know what's gonna be included in the time lapse, but if there's like a portion of me moving the table out of the way, and then my outfit suddenly changes when I start building this, it's because I moved the table out of the way, I attempted to build those two Ikea units, struggled beyond belief, me, Sam, my brother Jamie, none of us could figure out these freaking units. I was just gonna sit them in a box and wait until I could get some professional help, and by professional help, I mean my father, to come over here and help build those units. But then before that could happen, one day Sam and I were just at Walmart, picking up a couple grocery items here and there, and I stumbled upon this piece. I normally don't buy furniture from Walmart. However, this piece here is the exact color of our like units we've installed on the walls. If you can see this white unit behind me, the top and side pieces are a wood color, and it's literally the exact color of this. Not only did the color match perfectly, but it was the actual eight full squares that I wanted instead of two separate four squared units. And also, because it was Walmart, it was way cheaper than the ones from Ikea. This one alone was cheaper than one of the two units from Ikea. In the way they had it displayed at the store, they had it standing upright, and I knew I wanted it on the side like this, so I figured it would be a little bit more sturdy since there was more of it on the floor instead of up and down kind of a deal. I had a little trouble putting it together. There was one piece that just like would not work, but we figured it out. And it's been a while since I actually put it together. I wanted to get all the books exactly how I wanted them. And then also this was kind of hoarding a lot of my crafting stuff for a while. I used to craft down here, but I've since moved all my crafting stuff upstairs. So I wanted to have this completed without any of my crafting stuff or anything before I filmed this portion of the video. Now that all my crafting stuff is gone, I can finally give you guys a little bit of a tour of the bookcases. I think I'll do like the entire little unit here, like how I've decorated basically the entire like dining room area. I'm going to show you guys maybe the walls and stuff, and then we'll get into the bookcases and what I have in the bookcases. Standing a little bit back, the dining room table is usually here, but I moved it. First thing over here are these two units from Ikea. So these are the units I was talking about where this wood here is exactly the same as this wood here. Maybe a tiny bit off, but only if you're like, super super staring at them and can tell so on these two they did come with doors but we chose to only put a door on one of them so on this one here in the back is a wedding present that my friend nicole made sam and i and then she also gave us this adorable fake owl plant he's so cute his name is gourd and then we just have a photograph Originally I was gonna put a wedding photo in here after we got married. So for the time being, I just put a photo of Sam and I at Silverwood Theme Park. I haven't changed it yet because we got a different frame for a wedding photo. So that's why that's still there, but it's cute. I like it. And then here we just keep kind of cards for a relevant occasion. So for a while it, we had cards from Sam's birthday and now we have a bunch of wedding cards we've received. And then on the inside, we just have a bunch of stuff, mostly dish towels. And then we have some poop bags because the deck is right here and Weasley does go to the bathroom out there. So I like to clean it up as quickly as I can if he does go out there. On the wall here, the first thing is this beautiful wire flower. I actually picked this up at HomeSense. It is a little bent if you can see here, this piece is bent, but I kind of like it. I kind of think it makes it look kind of just funky. And honestly, there was only four of these in stock and this was the one that was in the best condition. So I love that flower so much. I actually made this. The frame is just from Walmart and then I just 
cut out a piece of poster paper to have the correct size. A lot of people have these like in our home, we respect people, we give hugs. I wanted something that was very specific to Sam and I. So in our home, we respect and are kind to one another. We believe in magic and pixie dust. We laugh loud and smile hard. We stand John Williams. We use the force. We dance in the kitchen. We nerd out. We love with all our hearts. We're family. I absolutely love this. I think it turned out really, really good. And I very much love that it is very specific to Sam and I. Down on the top of the bookcase here, first thing we have is this Mickey Mouse lantern. It does have a place for a candle in it, but I don't have a candle in it. Here's the frame I was talking about that we got as a wedding present. So that frame, I put a wedding photo into. Over here, we just have these two large vases. I don't know if I wanna put like some tall flowers or something in them yet, but for the time, I like how it looks empty. They're also from HomeSense and then just a candle. So now I'll show you guys what's in every single shelf of the bookshelf. First one you can see, there's nothing. So we're just gonna skip to the next one. First shelf I like to say is my Haunted Mansion shelf. Um, I do have this little plaque here that says May the Force Be With You. I got this off of Etsy, I'll link it down below. I kind of liked it up here. I know we have the entire basement with an entire like Star Wars wall and stuff, but I really wanted something small and something Star Wars-y upstairs. So that's why I got this. Another thing I have on the shelf is my Walter and Rosie Foolish Mortal Candle. I've shown this many times. My friend Tori gave this to me. I still have not burnt it because I don't want to use it up or anything because it's really special. First thing, I have my The Haunted Mansion Imagineering uh, Disney Classic. So this is all about the history of the Haunted Mansion, both the one in Disneyland, Walt Disney World, and even the one in Disneyland Paris. And then I have my four Tales from the Haunted Mansion novels. So we have volume one, volume two, volume three, and volume four. The next shelf, I have the four books by Robert Galbraith. I don't have the fifth one yet. I know there's a lot of controversy about the author of this, these books. So for that reason, I searched and hunted for these books secondhand. I didn't pay full price or buy these books from like Walmart or Chapters or anything like that. I got all of these books either off of eBay that were secondhand or I bought them from thrift stores because I didn't want to support the author of these books. As much as I don't support the author and the things she has said, I do absolutely love these books. They are my favorite kind of like whodunit novels. I have listened slash read a lot of whodunit books and these are the only ones that I've read where reading them, I haven't been able to guess like the murderer or who did it or anything like that within like the first like three, four chapters. So I do really like these books, don't like the author, don't condone what she says or what she believes in. So I wanted to get these books and I wanted to feel good about owning these books, so I bought these all secondhand. So on the last top shelf, we have this fake drooping plant from Ikea. And then in the back are a lot of just nonfiction books, self-help books, the Alamac 2010, Great Canadian Bucket List, a book for about auditioning, about teaching, children, theater, things like that. So starting on the bottom right and then going left, this is our kind of like memoir shelf. My favorite book on here is The Ride of a Lifetime by Robert Iger, who is the former CEO of the Walt Disney Company. Then we also have Carrie Fisher's memoir, Marley and Me, and then also The Wolf of Wall Street. So these are also nonfiction, but kind of like memoir books-ish. And then right below the Robert Galbraith shelf is our Stephen King shelf. We have a lot of Stephen King. I actually really enjoy these books. There are a few of his books that are a little kind of crazy in my opinion, but these ones are fantastic. I have The Shining and Dr. Sleep. Dr. Sleep is by far my favorite book by him. Then we also have The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, The Gunslinger, Green Mile, Insomnia, Carrie, Salem's Lot, and Duma Key. This shelf doesn't have too much on it, but it just has this ginormous book that is just a whole bunch of photography of sharks. Sam and I absolutely love sharks, and I found this book at a thrift store for like $14, so I just had to have it. This shelf isn't done yet, I just haven't 
found anything else to put with the shark book so when I find something I'll add stuff to it. The final shelf is our fiction shelf so this used to be a lot bigger and we actually used to have a lot more fiction books but a lot of them moved to the basement because a lot of them were books that have now been adapted into movies. Well I guess To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird is here but I actually don't have that on DVD surprisingly. I need to get that. City of Thieves, The Devil in the White City, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Isn't that a movie too? Sam, isn't that a movie? Sam, confirm this for me. Is this a movie? Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Artemis, Invisible Monsters, To Kill a Mockingbird, The Best Weird Tales of H.P. Lovecraft. And if we get more fiction books, we'll probably add them to this shelf as well as the top shelf there that has nothing. That is our bookcase for the time being. Like I said, we'll probably add more books to it and maybe take some books away because I need to move to kill a mockingbird downstairs because there's a movie about that too. I mostly wanted a bookcase here because we have a ton of books and we don't really have anywhere else in the house to put kind of like a bookcase. So I wanted something small, something that can kind of go out of the way. This was just absolutely perfect. It fits in with everything up here so perfectly and it just suits everything. It's exactly what I wanted. So I'm very happy with this and I love how all the books look. If you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. I post new videos every single Friday and I would love to have you guys here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you later. Bye everybody.